All right, guys, I don't know which number of video this is, and again, I'm not spending a lot of time editing because it doesn't make it. For me, it's just unnatural to have the ability to go back and like edit pieces of your life because uh, it's not usually how things go. You just have to take things as they come and do your best. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little um, heads up on something that I was reading this morning because we were talking about calcium supplements yesterday, and apparently... Calcium supplements, if I, I think you can take them in moderation and not have an issue, but I was reading something this morning where um, they were saying seniors are often advised to take calcium supplements, but new research says that pills might significantly increase an aging person's risk of heart valve problems that contribute to heart failure. I believe that what's happening is some of these valves are getting calcified because of the supplementation that people are taking. Now, I'm not advocating for permanent supplementation. This is just to go through the surgery, and I'm actually, I've decided to forego this until after, and we'll see what happens to my teeth, because I'm not gonna do anything that's gonna damage me. And I wanted to let you guys know, because I know that you've been listening to me. Um, I'm gonna be looking at other um, sources of calcium. I know there's a number of vegetables. Obviously, I have yogurt cheese everybody loves take all the stuff um lots of things that i snack on i literally could eat three but three or four bags of these a week um these are little cuties mandarinos or mandies these are called mandies I eat those a lot i eat handfuls of walnuts i know my husband hates them because i know they're dry but they're really good for your brain and at this point I'm not really suffering to eat good for you food. I'm just trying to do the right thing. Also, you might see that I have um, lots of tattoos. The reason I have so many is actually the the first weeks that I was coming, um, the first weeks after my original surgeries, and I had had, um, the first tattoo I got was the weekend that I turned 18, and I always thought that I would get some tattoos. I never really thought that they would be this large, but what ended up happening is I was on the beach, with my boyfriend at the time and parents were pulling their children away from me like they can catch some kind of crazy disease because I have these giant scars going up my belly I was like wait a minute this isn't very cool and um, <clears throat> very few people would ask anything most of the time they were just running away because it looked like I guess I had a communicable illness with all the scars that I had running down my body so I decided Instead of having all of these marks on my body that I did not want, I would have marks on my body that I did want. As a result, so many people spend so much time judging me for my tattoos that they do not see my heart surgery scars any longer. So I kind of won in some ways. In other ways, it's like people, obviously people are still dicks and they're still going to judge me because that's what you do. Anyways, I just want to let you guys know about the, the calcium thing because I, I definitely, I am not here to hurt anybody. I, I definitely want to be a source of inspiration, but obviously help. So I'm going to correct myself if I ever advise you to do something that I later find is dangerous. Now, I don't know that taking supplements for a few weeks before and after surgery is necessarily dangerous, but certainly with calcified um, valves and whatnot, you don't really want to risk it so that's my correction that's a little story about uh my little tattoos um i've had a few magazine covers I'll, i don't know what the hell that magazine is i bought one recently i don't even know why one of the old ones that came out in like 2002 it's ridiculous you wouldn't recognize me i probably should use it as a, an example but i have no freaking idea where it is but anyway that's my um little ditty on the calcium. I did read a comment. Someone said, thanks for doing that. So I feel like it's a good thing to do. And obviously some of you guys may be appreciating it. But I'm not going to really respond uh, wholly to comments because we live in a rude world. You're all fucking mean. And that's really it. So this is this one. I think I did this one in one take. Again, I just don't I guess I don't care enough about how I'm looking to fucking edit it. 
But again, if I'm on the last weeks of my life, I just want to get something out there to help you guys. So that's it. Have a good day.